Oh, so your tree doesn't function. My tree comes at only night. Only midnight. Yours is midnight, yeah, Eddie. Midnight, Why midnight. only midnight? I don't know. I don't understand. But midnight is, is fluent. It's very good. Okay. okay. That time you are sleeping, so you know. Oh, okay. It's easier for me to speak to you. Okay. What of Pascal? After six p.m. Yeah, yeah. After six p.m. Yeah. Okay. Then you have to wait for the drive. Oh, I have time for you. Ah. <laughs> Sa. 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 <laughs> Okay, welcome to Rainbow Radio. Is this your first time being here? Absolutely. First oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my first time. Your first time too. Yeah. Okay, Pascal, what's up? Where have you been? Been good. Though. I let you know a pastor. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow, bless God. <laughs> Are you not a pastor? Oh, of course I am. Probably. Why? What happened? Because I know. When you started, you were not a pastor. What, what, what happened? What happened? No, no sometimes. Okay, wait. Like, you get a truck. Okay, okay, what happened? Why? 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 No, what happened? You know, some people they go like, uh, in a dream I met God. Some <laughs> they were they were they were on scene. Uh, they were I don't know. I, I don't have much knowledge about your technologies, but I mean, well, well how do you put it? We're on set, and set. then yeah. uh, I had the calling and all that. What happened? That's what I want to know. Okay. Ah. Uh... How did you receive your calling? It's a long. I, I've always. I've always. Kind of short. I want yes, to. Yes, I've always it. done ministry anyway. People don't know that part about me. Um, Alongside. Uh, no, before. Okay. Ever before. I always knew that this is my life. This is where I'm most. This is where I feel I'm most fulfilled. You can take any. I don't care about the fear. I can wake up tomorrow and not have nobody know my name. But it's where I feel I'm most fulfilled beyond everything else. I, I, I passed the fellowship in secondary school. I passed the campus fellowship in university. I had a film just came at a very pivotal point in my life that seemed to make people know my name. So they didn't know a part of my life before I ventured into film. Of course, I had years when I was very far away from God and all of that. And maybe that's a pro for me. When you know God too early, sometimes you get too used to the life of her. Yeah. But I, I knew that at a certain point in my life, I would get tired of being fame and all that. And I think that point came where I just realized I had to go back to be my true self, where I did that most fulfilled. It's not about the fame, not about the name, whatever it is, I don't care. But where I think that with the microphone in my hand, I'm talking to maybe not even the microphone, I'm speaking to someone about, about the gospel, where I find my true essence of the person. So I think that time came and I said, you know what? I'm done calling the shots in my life. Come, done being, you know, um, Lord of my own life. And I rededicated my life to God. And I said, okay, this is where I want to go. I'm going back to who I feel that I was designed, made to be. And I think um, it's been it's been years now, and I I haven't for a moment regretted it. So right after university, you started uh, producing movies. In no, I yeah, that I started. I, I, of course, we all ventured into acting, basically. I mean, then you get right acting, yes, yes, acting, and then... So that is where you abandoned your ministry? Not really abandoned, per se. Um, you were doing it alongside? Yes, I just put that in a back burner. Acting became, especially when I became, for, for lack of oh, a... I, I want to person. know why you left it there. What was the problem? What happened? I and mean, why did you... Why I left, left the ministry? Yeah. No, I was, I was in a very exploitative time in my life. I was... Trying to find money was coming. No, the pieces before money. I was trying to explore other venues. You know, when I embraced the new talent and discovered I could write script beyond acting, okay. so it was new for me. So I ventured into it, and I think God allowed me to explore that gifting up until the point where I realized that you must realize that your gifting fits into your purpose. Some people find their gifting and the stray, and the gifting becomes your purpose. No, your gifting must fit into your purpose for what God has designed you to be. So I had moments where I, I embraced the gifting and I and I flew with it and it, it took me halfway across the world and I realized that no, this gifting is secondary to my primary purpose, which is my calling. So I had to find a way to fit the gifting into my calling for God's glory. So I, I guess it was just a period of me exploring myself, getting to know myself. And we all have our journeys. Some people God will take them from 
from um, from Akimata to Jungle Stream. So what else? He will take them first to Kaswa and then make them and route them back. So it just depends on the way he wants to take it to go and what your process is about. Wow. So combining these two, because I, at a point I thought you you are just out of a. Uh... No, that's what people think because because they know the life that's involved in show business. So when they when yes. they see that you are, they always assume that you cannot cook. Yes. In their minds, you don't tell them anything. You don't tell anyone I've stopped making food. Just assume that no, that he's become too holy for what we do here. Only God knows what they do anyway. And at a point, do. you were not too active. I don't. Sure I don't that. find I've I've, I've lost. Uh, I've done it all. I, I think in my only way. I always I say to my wife that if I quit film now, I think I've made my little impact. I don't like tomorrow now. There's a there's a, a permanent movie and there's a there's a red red carpet. I don't have what to wear. I'm not thinking about that. I'm as well going to t-shirt. I've lost the whole. It doesn't excite me anymore. So I've lived the life. I, I've 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 been around. So I don't. And the younger ones can be tell about that. So so it makes me. I want to sit in my house and be with my kids. I go to fellowship and see. I have a few friends. You know who we talk with. I, I don't say it often, but we talk on phone when it's very necessary. He's my friend. Mm. Mm. So I don't, I don't, I mustn't be around everywhere, jump around and be on social media and, you know, be everywhere, there's a show and that's I know you have won a lot of souls, we'll talk about that, but uh, Eddie, what's up? The way I would say, I know you're make come, make make come, make they do you, I will talk, yes, I will yes, talk. <laughs> I think, I think he's, he's, what do you want? Fanti, his fanti is better. So let me talk about it. What do you want? What do you want? Do you? You know, it's funny. It's funny that um, uh, you you find most uh, people thinking that um, people just kind of jump into ministry, like uh, what happened to Pascal. Mm. But I can clearly say, even when we started as uh, um, into the film, the film business, uh, as, as an actor, he was writing, directing. He still carried. The gifting, you know, because I remember uh, uh, when I when I just started somewhere around 2011, Pascal said things. We, I remember we didn't even, we didn't have cars. We were we would take uh, old taxis, we'd go to wherever we wanted to go, and uh, we're in the car. We're just talking, and lovers of God, you know, we're just talking about different things. And he okay. was telling me things that would happen, what would happen in my life that I saw happening. Wow, he's so very profound. You, know, you are so a prophet. No, no, yeah. we spoke about this we yesterday at the mall. We I'm it. telling you, we're going the same place. Yes. The same place we're leaving that very day. Mm -hmm. We sat in the taxi and uh, you know celebrating that you know started to unfold. So I mean, he carried he carried that gift all along, and people we just saw the, the show based part of it because maybe at that point in time that was what was being announced. You know into showbiz, people get to see that aspect of your life, and people don't get to delve into who you are as a person. So if you don't get to understand the person, you don't have conversation with the person, you just look at what you are seeing on the television, you never understand who the guy really is. So it means that what you guys have been showing us on TV has different character from your main character. Of course. I, of course. No, but someone also told me that before you can play a role, uh -huh, it's good you guys are here. They said before you can play a role very well, in fact, you should have that kind of thing in, inside you. I so I if, if so. you are always playing a role as a bad boy, it means that our no, woman I, I, I mean, don't, you know no, how no, to I do it. I don't think so. People get, people get stereotyped. You know, people get uh, fixed in a box because um, uh, society expects um, a bad boy to look in a certain way, to, you know, have certain kind of swag or certain things. So even if you get into film, uh, filmmaking or become an actor, people would easily stereotype you to, you know, certain characters if you allow it. And sometimes it goes for a long time mm -hmm. and people think that's who you are. No, it's just because maybe you look in a certain way so uh, people think this is what you should be doing in a film. Uh, now, uh, I think uh, playing characters, it takes a lot when, you, when it comes to playing characters, you know, because uh, I know that most characters I've played, they are totally far from, from who I am. I'm not the first person, I'm not this outgoing person, I'm not the person who you probably see at every uh, event. event or event or stuff uh -huh. like that. Besides but filming, you in Ghana? Um, I've been spending more time in Nigeria, uh, you know, because of work. Are you know. Nigerian? No, I want to know, but why uh, are you making it look like I should know? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm, your facial expression shows that I should no, know. Because I mean, it feels that you know that he was I here. Know, here I don't here. know. Even <laughs> if I know, <laughs> like, my listeners want to know. Uh, we want uh, to know. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Um, uh -huh, so, so um, I mean, um, so that's what happens to But you're 100% Ghanaian? No. 
We want to know. He's a mixed. No. Um, mixed. Like, he's like a salad. Mixed. 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 Everything is just like um, oh. Liberia, Sierra uh, Nigeria, Ghana, just everything. But I was actually born in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's where I was born, and uh, that's where I started off until Ghana, you know. But Ghana. So at what age did you came to Ghana? Um, I came to Ghana, I think it was, um, it was probably around 27 years old, 26, 27 years old, 27. And now how old are you? Hmm. How old? I'm calculating, because I want you to speak to the internet. I won't go. Go to the internet, go and Google. I won't go and Google. 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 Go no, <laughs> apart from that, by now you should be speaking. But you may have your answer already. Um, yes, because we, 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 we made the movie called 40 Looks Good on You, and we, we made sure we cast people in their 40s. <laughs> really? <laughs> 40 Rose's name is not close. <laughs> Who says? I Rose say. Is good. How do you know? Oh, oh. I'm saying it. How do you know? Don't mind Rose's name don't is mind not close. How do you know? Salasi has passed there. Don't uh -huh. mind. Who else? Stephanie? Oh! Hey! 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 Oh yes, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was I'm far into film, far, far okay. close to the best of years, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in case you're wondering, um, um, I'm sure you're asking because of ministry. Yes. Um, Christianity is not founded in Ghana. All that Ghana Christianity, um, lack of knowledge, myopic understanding, um, uh, spiritual res responsibility. Um, so Christianity, Christianity um, um, that's all that is, all that is lack of knowledge, and it worries a lot of our people, a lot of them, it worries them, a lot of them, and they are, you don't, you can't, God, God is, God is bigger than your small cranium and your mind, and I think our people need to go and read the word for them, to understand the word for themselves, and besides, this is name of, names of my kids, mm -hmm. I don't regret it, it's never been an issue. And God speaks so, to me in so many ways, so mm -hmm. I'm sure if he has an issue with my tattoo, I'm sure he knows how to tell me. Uh -huh. So I don't limit myself beyond that. I, I think that when people see this, people get it wrong. I'm the I'm a diehard tattoo. Thing. Why have you let people one? So they are eating the pork and they are talking they're about the tattoo. Yeah, uh, they pick women not wearing men's clothes, not even understand what the Bible is talking about. Not even. I mean, people, people are people. Do people just want to buy olive oil and not read the Bible? Yeah. They want to buy water and not, they want to buy soup to all the way they are saying and not study the word. I don't wonder what kind of Christianity we have in this day and age. It's so irresponsible. People just want to sit in the field and just take everything and not study the word for them. I don't have a relationship with God. Not understand who God is. Means to them. And it's a you, you know, this thing has become an hindrance to a lot of people. They feel that because I have the tattoo, I can't even go to church. Because they will the, not be the accepted. The preachers who preach here, live here and go to America, take the honorarium and don't mention it. Because there you're talking about women wearing earrings. In America, you see women who are pierced their tongues. And they are in church. And they are in church. They are even your drama or your you can, they are leading worship. And the Spirit of God is moving. And you don't know. So is there a Bible written for Africa? And there's another edition for the American? So the answer I was thinking about it, that does that mean that Jamaica no one good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have met, I'll tell you in ministry, the most sincere used by God, open, loving people who have met in ministry are people who have a broken past who yeah. God has healed. Mm. Most sincere, they have a broken, solid past who God has healed because they understand all it means, they understand the love of God, it means so much to them. Those who are very religious, who were born in church before they laid the first block of the church building, beware mm. of them. Mm. Yeah. Beware of them because there's something about the love of God that, that you need to experience it. Most people have a broken past. You see them with they might have they might have piercings, but they've experienced such love. And we need to love people beyond the fact that you see, I tell, I said this. You you see the weed, 
I see the emptiness inside of the person. You mm. see the alcohol. I see their brokenness. So you can judge the outside. I see the 